eight new heavyweight vehicles are vying for the belt in the heavyweight head-on championship. Hi everybody, I'm Aaron Yanda. Today's competitors all weigh between 41 to 60 grams, and they are gonna go head to head to find out who was gonna face Silver Bullet in the title bout. Cars are gonna get a point for knocking another car off the track, a point for knocking it upside down, and of course, a point for knocking it out of bounds. That's a total of three points from a hit, plus you can get an additional point for doing damage to your opponent. That's obvious damage, not just paint flakes. And you automatically win your match if the other car is unable to compete any longer. First up, it's gonna be Bone Blazer, sponsored by Swedenborg Smorgasbord, against Sidekick, sponsored by Judy Collins. Bone Blazer's got a five gram advantage here, being a big semi-truck and all. Let's see how this goes. First hit is a doozy, and Bone Blazer is knocked backwards, and the force of the impact dislodges the top of his trailer. That is gonna count as a piece broken off of Bone Blazer. He's gonna have to go down without that now. A nasty hit there from Sidekick. Nobody gets knocked out of bounds, nobody gets knocked off the track, so no other points are gonna be awarded, but that was a devastating hit, as you can see. So checking on damage, indeed, Bone Blazer has lost that part of the trailer. He's going down the track like that. Sidekick looks completely unfazed. Here we go for round two, Sidekick versus Bone Blazer. Sidekick coming down from the left this time. Big boom right in the center, and both of these vehicles refuse to budge. Right now, this play is in Sidekick's favor. This happens again on the third run. Sidekick is gonna win just because of the removal of the top of Bone Blazer's trailer. Bone Blazer's gotta try something here, try to get Sidekick off the track and get some points. Another big hit, and Sidekick has basically repeated the success of round one, pushing Bone Blazer back up the track. Bone Blazer sticks up there, but nobody's off the track. Sidekick, a close one actually. Bone Blazer almost had him. Sidekick came within inches of flipping off the track and potentially losing this round, but because he managed to stay on, he's gonna be the victor. Sidekick is gonna take it with just the one point for damage. Very unusual round here between these two. But Sidekick is moving on. Next up, here's an interesting matchup. It's the Raygen Express, sponsored by Nay Hijavi, versus Cyborg, sponsored by Wolf of Fiber Art. Three gram advantage with Cyborg here, but Raygen's got a nice low front bumper. A big hit there, and Cyborg is sent reeling out of bounds, upside down. Gonna get the full three points for Raygen on that one. A nice hit. Can't see exactly what caused the bounce back there. Take a closer look, and yeah, it pretty much just hit him center on and went bouncing back. Ray Jane with the lower center of gravity might give him a distinct advantage. Let's head into damage and see if anything broke off. Ray Jin looking pretty solid. It's kind of hard to tell that front of that truck is a mess, but I don't think anything broke off. Cyborg looks pretty solid as well. Here we go on run number two. Cyborg coming from the left, Ray Jin on the right. And Ray Jin gets another big bounce from Cyborg, pushes Cyborg off the track. Cyborg recovers this time, and Ray Jin goes sideways. So that's actually gonna give Cyborg a point, but Ray Jin's gonna get two points. Impressive that Cyborg managed to land it after all that flipping, but ultimately it's not gonna do a whole lot for Cyborg. Ray Jin's gonna go up to five, Cyborg only at one. Not a whole lot Cyborg can do here unless he manages to break something off Ray Jin in this next run. Here we go. And Cyborg, similar result, gets tossed off the back of the track, and Ray Jin has dominated Cyborg in this match. An impressive showing from Ray Jin. Gonna be interesting to see what he does in his next bout. It looks like Raygen uses that ramped front to kind of loft Cyborg into the air. And that really came in handy in this fight. Eight to one, Raygen takes it, and Raygen is moving on. Who's Raygen gonna face next? We are gonna find out right now. This next match is the 49 Merc, 43 grams, sponsored by Tim the Bear Neal, versus Adat, 41 grams, sponsored by Sean and Patrick Hogan. This should be interesting. The Merc knocks the Adat off the edge of the track with that huge front end. Adat goes tumbling, makes a great recovery, but he's still gonna give up a couple points to the Merc. It looks like the Adat goes out of bounds right there on top of that hay bale. The Merc is up. A nice first run there. Let's take a look at the damage. 
Looks like the Merc is just scuffed a little bit, but nothing major. The At-At, on the other hand, a big crack running up the front there. If that crack gets any bigger, the At-At is going to be in trouble. At-At on the left, Merc on the right, round two. And a big hit, the At-At doesn't go off the track this time, but is knocked upside down. Nasty front end of that Merc really gives it to the At-At. And the Merc stays on the track. That's going to give another point to the Merc, take him up to three. It's three to one. The At-At's really got to pull out all the stops on this next hit if he wants to stay in this match. A decisive smash from the Merc ends the At-At's chance of winning this match. The Merc just bashes the at, at all the way out of bounds, way over by the Quonset Hut, upside down. That was a nice hit, and that is gonna cinch the Merc's victory. Six to one, the Merc dominates the at, at and he's moving on. He's gonna face Ray Jin in his next match. Now we're gonna find out whose sidekick is up against. It's the 56 Ford, sponsored by Brandon Walsh, against the Ferrari F40, sponsored by Hasty Productions. Ferrari 52, the Ford 47, here we go. Big hit there, the Ferrari gets the best of it. They both stopped almost dead in the middle, but the Ford gets pushed back a little bit and goes upside down. Wheels spinning all over the place. I don't think the Ford knows what hit him. That's gonna give the Ferrari a point. He's gonna go up one, and we'll see if there's any damage. Ferrari lost some paint on that hit, and the Ford looks virtually undamaged. In fact, I see a little red paint on the front of it. Ford's coming out of that looking good, except for the point loss. Here comes the second hit. And the Ferrari gets the best of this one. The Ford gets tossed all the way back down the track, flops upside down, and the Ferrari is gonna pick up a bunch of points on this hit. Nice move by the Ferrari there, staying on the track too. There's the Ford over on its side, not looking too good right now. Ford's gonna get one more chance to try to take the Ferrari out and push him off the track. It's four to zero. Gotta do some damage on this hit, here we go. And the Ferrari punches the Ford backwards, just like the first hit, knocks him upside down and puts an end to any chance the Ford had in this match. Great showing by the Ferrari right there. Nearly the exact same result as the first round. And the Ferrari's gonna get a point for that one, go up to five. And he's moving on, gonna face Sidekick in the next match. That should be a good one. First up, we're gonna watch the Merc take on Ray Jin. No idea who's gonna take this one. These both have interesting front ends on their vehicles. Be really fascinating to see what the result is of a big smash when these two collide. 49 Merc versus the Ray Jin Express. 43 grams to 42 grams. Pretty evenly matched, here we go. Ooh, a savage hit right in the middle of the track there. Both cars bouncing off of each other, off the track. The Merc trying to hang on, but can't do it. And they both go upside down. There is a lot of flying chunks all over the place. I think probably silver paint off of Ray Jin. We'll see in the damage. They both end up sideways and upside down, and they both give each other three points for that. Let's see if there was any more serious damage than paint flakes. Nothing on the Merc, still just a scuff right there. And Ray Jin looks a little worse for wear, but it looks like only chunks of uh, silver paint probably that came off. Still looks pretty solid, so we're gonna go again. Ooh, a massive takedown there from the Merc. Knocks the Ray Jin Express all the way back off the track sideways. A brutal hit from the Merc. Detritus flying everywhere. I think something even floated past the camera right there for a second. That was nasty. The Merc showing some serious dominance here. Ray Jin nearly shattered on that hit, but no pieces broke off. That's gonna put the Merc up 3.6 to three, and we're gonna head into the third round. Ray Jin's got a chance to bring it back here. And a massive smash in the middle of the track. Both cars hurtling backwards. Ray Jin unable to stay on the track. A great recovery there by the Merc. Flips over and manages to get upright again. Ray Jin, not the same story. Ray Jin off the track, out of bounds, and sideways. That's going to be three more points for the Merc. Nine to three for the Merc. Merc is gonna move on and face the winner of the next match, the Ferrari versus Sidekick. This is gonna be a good one. These two cars are very equally matched. Sidekick 51 grams, Ferrari 52. Here we go. 
boom, Sidekick takes flight and goes way off in the distance. The Ferrari is tossed upside down, but Sidekick is gone way over by the Tool Time trailer. Upside down, that's going to be three solid points for the Ferrari, but the Sidekick is going to get one. Sidekick's got to find a way to meet the Ferrari head on and not go off the hood. If he's not able to do that, he's going to be finding himself in the air a couple more times. Quick damage check, Sidekick is still in great shape, barely a scuff despite flying through the air all that distance. Ferrari got a little bit uh, more paint up front, but otherwise looks good. Here comes the second hit. And it's basically a repeat of the first one. Sidekick vaults into the air, almost smashes into the camera, lands over by the crates upside down. He's going to give three more points to the Ferrari. The Ferrari just destroying Sidekick in this match. However, Ferrari also went off the track and out of bounds. Managed to make a recovery, though. Only going to give Sidekick two points. That's going to take the score up to six to three. So Sidekick is still in this in case he's able to pull off some sort of miracle on the third run. Here they come. Sidekick is airborne so high up in the air, higher than our scale even goes. Lands over by the wagon over there full of hay. And Ferrari makes a recovery this time, really showing off here. Sidekick is just gone. You can see it here in the slow-mo. Sidekick not able to get under Ferrari and just goes into the stratosphere. I don't know where he landed, and it doesn't really matter if he's upside down or not. Ferrari is going to take the victory here. Impressively similar landing right over by the Tool Time trailer again. I got to give Sidekick some credit for consistency, if nothing else. Speaking of nothing else, Sidekick not getting any more points this round. Ferrari goes up to nine and takes the win. Ferrari is going to go on to face Merc in the... The final winner of this match earns the right to face Silver Bullet for the title of heavyweight champion. Silver Bullet waiting in the wings. Can't wait to face one of these two vehicles. The Merc versus the Ferrari. 43 grams to 52 grams. The Ferrari with a big weight advantage here. Let's see if Merc can do anything with that big front end. And a huge hit. Ferrari knocks Merc. Same place, basically, as Sidekick. The Ferrari is very consistent with where he knocks his opponents to. The Merc just scatters all over the place. Ferrari stays on the track, doesn't give up a single point. Ferrari really likes to send the Merc over on top of all those junkers over there by the Tool Time van. And he is sideways, so giving up three points to Ferrari. I have to wonder if the Merc has a chance in this particular matchup. Damage check reveals the Merc is pretty beat up in the front, but nothing missing. Looks to be much the same for the Ferrari. However, I'm noticing a little fracture in the front of the Ferrari right there. That could be bad. Let's try them from the other sides. Here we go with the Merc on the left, Ferrari on the right. Pow! The Ferrari annihilates the Merc. Merc goes flying so far back up the track that he actually goes over the top of the crates and disappears. Actually ends up landing somewhere over in the parking lot where uh, all the cars are actually stored. Holy man, that is a massive hit from the Ferrari. Now, we don't have any camera people over there, so we're not going to be able to show you where the Merc landed. However, uh, we're hearing that the Merc did somehow land right side up after flying over the crates. So Ferrari's going to go up to five, and the Merc's going to get a point for knocking Ferrari sideways on that hit. The third and final hit's gonna be a little superfluous, but we're doing it anyway, here we go. Bam, the Merc is knocked out of town. Ferrari likes to put the cars over there when they're on this side, over by the Tool Time trailer, and another savage hit from the Ferrari. Man, just knocks it almost back up the way he came. Merc actually manages to land this one right side up. So the Merc salvaging a little honor here. Not a complete shutout either. 7-1, to one, Ferrari takes it and is going to go on to face Silver Bullet. A quick look at the front bumper of that Ferrari. The crack seems to be worsening. This has got to be a concern going in to this final match. Before Ferrari takes on Silver Bullet, we're going to do the third place match. It's going to be Sidekick versus Merc. They get one run down the track to see who claims third place. 51 grams for Sidekick versus 43 with the Merc. It didn't work out with the Ferrari. Let's see if the Merc can do anything here. Here we go. Bam! The Merc is knocked all the way off back down the track. Sidekick stays on, gets flipped over, but does enough to knock the Merc out. And Sidekick is going to claim third place in this contest. 
three points to one, and we're gonna do a quick damage check just to see if anything happened there. Sidekick looks undamaged. Merc looks a little bit more damaged, but nothing major. And Sidekick claims the victory. And now it's time. Heavyweight division championship title is on the line. Our current champion, Silver Bullet, weighs in at 55 grams, sponsored by Swedenborg Smorgasbord. And the Ferrari F40 weighs in at 52 grams and is sponsored by Hey Steve Productions. This is the big one, folks. Here we go. And a dead stop right in the middle of the track. Silver Bullet knocks Ferrari flying almost out of bounds but off and upside down and gonna get two points for that. It looks like Ferrari started coming off the track. Ferrari lost control on the way down and it did not end well at all. That loss of control is gonna lose Ferrari some points. Silver Bullet's gonna take an early lead here, two to zero. What a wild round to start this off, folks. Silver Bullet, no damage, but a big chunk of paint from Ferrari stuck in the front. And Ferrari's got that crack going on still. It does not look any better. Here we go, Ferrari on the left, Silver Bullet on the right, round two. Bam, Ferrari again tossed off the track, upside down. And Silver Bullet actually, not doing that well this time, gets off the track and upside down, but still gonna take the most points in this round. Silver Bullet's gonna get three, Ferrari is gonna get two, a devastating hit for both vehicles. The front end of Silver Bullet's at just the right angle to keep opening that crack at the front of Ferrari. And Ferrari is lagging behind here. Gotta do something to stay in this match. And something it is! Ferrari sends Silver Bullet off the track into familiar territory for all the cars that have faced off against Ferrari. But usually, it happens when Ferrari's on the other side. Somehow the Ferrari got underneath Silver Bullet, sends him over by the Quonset Hut upside down, and Ferrari's actually gonna get three points. Silver Bullet, nothing. That is gonna bring it up to a tie game, five to five. Unbelievable, we gotta go into round four unless there was damage to Ferrari. Taking a look, nope, that crack is worse but nothing broke off, and that has saved Ferrari in this match right now. Silver Bullet virtually undamaged. It's a tie match. The next time one of these cars scores points, they are gonna take it. Here we go. And a big hit, a nice solid smack. Both cars make a great recovery. Nobody's moving off there. Ferrari makes a secondary little hit, as if to say, get off the track, I wanna win, but it doesn't work. And these guys are still tied five to five. This has been insane. We're gonna do another damage check, see what's going on with that cracked front end of Ferrari. It looks more brutalized up there, but still nothing broken. Just push back a little bit. And Silver Bullet got more red paint on the front. That is just nasty. Here we go again. Can one of these cars finish the other one off and claim victory? A huge slam and Ferrari! has knocked Silver Bullet off the track. Ferrari gets the jump and has enough power to knock Silver Bullet back and off, upside down. That's gonna give him two points. It's unbelievable. Ferrari started off this match looking like it was over and somehow brought it back from the brink of doom to claim two points in the final hit. Seven to five. Ferrari is your new heavyweight champion! And there is your champion, the Ferrari F40, despite sustaining severe damage up front. The Ferrari overcame all the odds and won this match. Now, of course, the big question, how is Ferrari going to fare against future contenders for the crown with that damage front bumper? There's plenty more matches to come. I'd love it if you're new to the channel, if you could click that subscribe button and stick around for some more. Don't forget to comment and like helps out with the algorithm. And if you want to sponsor a vehicle, become a patron. Patreon.com slash Junkyard Joust. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.